Hello, this is Andrew with Missing Remote. And I just wanted to alert everybody that Unify Protect NVR Firmware 1.3.33 has gone public. There doesn't appear to be a huge amount of change in this release. Uh, there are a few bug fixes, nothing that impacted me personally, but if you might want to have a look at that just to see what is what's in there to, to see if there's a fix that uh, impacted you personally. I updated to this firmware last night and it went smoothly. So it, it basically, I can say it just, it worked. It just went right over the top of what I had on there and it was fantastic. The simplicity of the firmware change release notes does somewhat hide other artifacts of what's going on here behind the, the, the scenes. And I do think this is a really important update to go to. In order to see what those changes are, you actually have to dig into the bundle that protect application, which in this case is 1.16.9, which also has a very small set of changes and fixes. And the reason why that is, is because most of the change actually happened here in 1.16.8, which originally was, it was a beta release, then it was a semi-official release that came out with the UDM Pro in the 1.8.3 public release firmware, but they didn't have release notes for that. So it was kind of a weird situation where they they, they did some strange, UI did some strange stuff with the, the disclosing what happened. So basically 1.16.9 is a patch, a quick patch that they rushed in order to resolve some issues with 1.16.8. This was a big one for me personally because I saw this after a day after I updated to 1.8.3 on my UDM Pro. Then 1.16.9 came out and it sorted that. So this is a good thing. I'm glad they did that. I just wish that there was a little bit more transparency around what was going on. But so let's look at the change log for 1.16.8 because this is where most of the important things happen. There are quite a few improvements for mostly around how G4 cameras work. That is a really good thing, I think, because there's some really neat features in the G4 cameras that have actually, now that I have a G4 doorbell, that I actually picked up two G4 bullet cameras because I want to use some of the smart detection, or I like the smart detection feature in the G4 doorbell, and I want to get that in more of the cameras that I have. There's also quite a few bug fixes. This one, while not impacting me personally, <laughs> is a pretty big one. So for no other reason then you might get into a situation where Protect won't start if you're running low on space. I would say it's a, it's a good idea to, to, to get this update. Well, actually the 1.16.9 update on your, on your NVR or the UDM Pro. But if you have automatic updates set up, those should have come down pretty quickly. I, I'm also really happy to see this one, the G4 doorbell fix. Uh, I, ha I have had this happen, so that was a, uh, a welcome fix. All in the 1.3.33 is a, is a good improvement over the previous uh, 1.3.15 release that's been out for, um, looks like, four months now. Uh, it adds stability, it adds some features, so I would say put it on your NVR and go with it. Hopefully you found this useful. If you did, go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments or you've run through this update on your UMVR and you want to provide some feedback around that, drop that below. Uh, I read every comment. I don't always reply to every comment, but I do read them all. Um, thanks for watching. Cheers.